Hey everyone, it's James from Best Nerd Life. May I present to you the humble 3.5 inch floppy disk that boasts a whopping 1.44 megabyte storage capacity. Now this thing is old, it's decrepit, it's unstable, and for all intents and purposes, it is obsolete. Which is why, of course, I had to buy 177 of them. <laughs> So yeah, I went on eBay and I found this guy who was selling his entire floppy disk collection. He didn't wipe them at all. There's no data removed from them. So like all his personal files are probably still on here. Hopefully there's some games, there's some programs as well. So yeah, in this video, I'm quite literally going to go through this box of floppy disks and see what I can find on them. First off, let's do a little bit of maths. This floppy disk right here contains, as I said before, about 1.44 megabytes of storage, and there are 177 disks in that box. So if you do a little bit of maths, it comes to about 250 megabytes of storage in that box. That's pretty cool, right? Well, if you think about it, this Kingston 16 gigabytes micro SD card contains 16 gigabytes, which is about 64, I believe, times bigger <laughs> than the entire box of stuff on this card, which if you think about it, is pretty amazing, right? Let's not even think about this external one terabyte Seagate hard drive that I have. Now that we've got a little bit of perspective about exactly how much storage is in that box up there, let's do a little bit of sorting. This is my Dell Inspiron 531 with its floppy disk drive bay thing waiting and ready. So I'm just going to do a little montage or time lapse or whatever of me trying out some of my floppy disks. All right, so what I've done, I've gone through a few of them, I just saw, and basically just put them into different piles of if they work, if they have anything on them, if they work and they're just blank, or they just don't seem to work at all, they come up with an error or something of the like. And yeah, a whole bunch of these right here, these have something on them. So I'm going to go through them and through a few more off camera and see what I can get off them. These things, all four of them at the moment are blank so there's nothing on them but they do work so I can use them for future projects and these right here are the ones that do not work so I'm going to try and format them maybe put them in another uh, floppy drive reader I've got a USB one that connects to my more modern computer so I'll try and get stuff off them from there but yeah I'll see what I can do all right, so it's been a couple of days and I've sorted through pretty much all of my floppy disks. And you know what? I found an absolute treasure trove of old retro stuff. But what exactly did I find? Well, let's start with the physical disks themselves. I found a whole bunch of different variations of the floppy disk. For example, right here, I've got a Sony branded one. I've got an AT&T branded one. And I've also got a Tudor branded floppy disk. As well as different branding, I also found different coloured variations. For example, this blue one right here. Got a pinky salmony one. Got a grey one. And got a white one as well. Now aside from the colour variations and the different branding, I also found discs that had like official artwork on them, as if they were kind of associated with official games and official programs and stuff like that. These official floppy disks include this genius MouseMate 98 piece of software, this uh, <laughs> Packard Bell recovery disk, I've also got a Sound Blaster floppy, and super duper interestingly, and this is probably the most interesting thing in the entire pack that I got, are these Sensible World of Soccer floppy disks. Disc one, disc two, and disc three. And yes, I was able to get all the data for Sensible World of Soccer. 
as well as a few other games. And some of those I'm going to show you right now. Honestly, I'm really, really happy with the floppy disk data recovery mission that I've undertaken over the past few days. I've just really enjoyed it. And I've got a whole bunch of really cool games and pieces of software to add to my collection. After this, I'm gonna spend a little more time categorizing the disks. I'm gonna store them properly because I don't have like a floppy disk storage unit yet, apart from that box. I'm also just going to go through the other disks that I wasn't able to access the first time round and just double check to make sure that I can't get more data off them. If all else fails, I'm just going to format them and I can use them in future projects. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this floppy disk themed video. If you did, then by all means like, comment, subscribe, all that social media goodness, and as always, keep living that best nerd life.